Our problem was homelessness. We chose this topic for a variety of reasons, but all of us agree that we are all very fortunate to have homes, and we wanted to give back and help people less fortunate than us. Homelessness is such a big issue that 15% of U.S. citizens are homeless. This is an issue because these people also have kids and or younger siblings who are not doing good. These are easily affected by the cold weather and elements, and they are often very hungry. To help combat these issues, my group went to feed the multitudes and open door missions. Me, Alan, Jenna, Josh, and Ryan also went to the Open Door Mission. When we were there, we all had a different job, but basically we all prepared lunches for homeless people. I had, opened, I had to open up bags and put sandwiches in them, which me and Ryan found is a lot harder than it sounds. Alan put in chips and crackers into the bags, Jenna put cookies into the bags, and Ryan and Josh tied up the bags and put them into the garbage bags so they could easily be transported. Once we ran out of sandwiches, we all put chips into little baggies. After that, we redid the previous steps and made a lot more meals. Lastly, we set up silverware in a church room so the people could eat there. And while I was there, I met a couple of nice old ladies named Barbara and Jade. They were pretty old and retired, so they volunteered at the Open Door Mission regularly. They talked about how much they love doing it and how they really liked their job. It seemed like they really liked what they do, and they were kind to me and all the other people there. It was pretty cool to see people who genuinely cared nowadays. It also made me feel good seeing the abundant amount of trash bags filled with lunches and knowing so many people would get a good lunch and not be hungry. It made me see how fortunate that I am and I am able to not have to worry about where my next meal is coming from. After Open Door Mission, we emailed someone some questions that we had. The first question was, who supplies you with the food for the homeless? Some of the food we purchase, but a lot of it is donated. How do you think you can improve your facility? Expansion of or increase in facilities to be able to serve more people. How many sack lunches do you make for a day? It varies according to our needs and what we have available. How do the homeless people treat you? They are friendly and thankful. How do the homeless people treat each other? It varies with each relationship. We want them to have respect for all people, so that's what we encourage. What's your best and worst experience with a homeless person? So many examples, every person deserves to have their story heard and everyone is redeemable through Christ and important. Do you see a lot of the same people every day? And the answer to that is yes. Our group did two things for our project and we'll start with the first, Feed the Multitudes. Me, Alan, and Anthony went to Feed the Multitudes before Thanksgiving. From 2 until 10, I was at Bellevue Christian Center helping in a variety of ways. I helped bring in food that people donated. I helped serve and uh, food and set up the chairs. Anthony and Alan also helped for a couple of hours bringing in food and serve the people their food. The people that were served were bussed in from Omaha and Bellevue. After they were all done eating, they were also welcome to get warm clothes from the church's clo clothes rack. We saw a lot of people of all types of ages and colors. It was kind of sad seeing the small children and old people who were not as lucky as us. Almost all of them were very kind people and very thankful, and it made me happy seeing them smile and knowing that they can be, get a real Thanksgiving meal this year. I'm glad that we were able to help make a difference in all these people's lives. I think that me and my group all agree that everything went pretty well and easy for us except for finding a place to volunteer. All the volunteers at Feeding the Multitudes were very kind and helpful about telling us what to do and where to go. At the Open Door Mission, the lady that greeted us was extremely considerate when Anthony messed up our volunteer sheet and she did an amazing job showing us around, not to mention the caring old ladies who melted our hearts. I don't think any of our beliefs were really changed, but they were certainly enhanced. It is easy to say, yes, I'm very thankful and fortunate, but it's another thing to actually go and see people who are hungry and who don't know where their next meal will come from. Also, it was mind-blowing blo seeing all the people and food that was at Feed the Multitudes. We helped feed a warm Thanksgiving meal to approximately 2,000 people at Feed the Multitudes, and we helped make approximately 500 lunches at the Open Door Mission. We all saw the kindness and people between all the volunteers and all the food that both events donated. We are all very thankful that we were able to be a part of these experiences where we were able to help people. It taught us a lot and made us extremely humble.